Gruesome Magazine. Hello, once again, I'm your host, Doc Rotten, and this is Gruesome Magazine, where we review the very latest in streaming and video on-demand horror movies. Each week, my co-hosts, Jeff Moore, Crystal Cleveland, Dave Dreher, Christopher G. Moore, and myself, will take a look at various spooky, scary, and gory genre offerings. Tonight, we are reviewing The Ancestral, which is streaming on Screenbox. Do I have that right? Screenbox. Yeah, it is. Yes, sir. And, um, yes, it's giving uh, Shudder a little run for its money. I would say. Um, all right. Let, uh, let's. Before we get into everything, let me introduce you to the rest of the crew, starting off with the one and only Jeff Moore. Jeff, how are you doing, sir? Oh, God. There I'm asleep go. and I can't no. wake up. No, no. <laughs> gotta, gotta. <laughs> I'm great. I'm good. I'm sorry. Oh, no, man. that was actually fine. It's better than I you can know why I'm so. not a comedian. No. Yeah, I'm like I can't say anything. It's better than what I come up with. So what you know, whatever. It's all good, Jeff. All right. I go. Uh, uh, also joining us week is the Living Dead Girl, Crystal Cleveland. I'm great. Yay! <laughs> See, I don't. I'm not. I'm not even going to try ever not again. Going I'm not going to try. try. No. Try. Mm -mm. Yes, of course. No. All right. Well, what we are here, we are here to review the ancestral. But before we get into things, I just want to share that we are celebrating 10 years of H and R. Uh, we uh, began 10 years <laughs> ago uh, reviewing the Evil Dead remake in 2013, and we are celebrating this year, starting off with the Evil Dead Rise without the the, but you know what I mean. And uh, we will be celebrating all year, ending with the inaugural Gru Cruise in February of 2024. The Join us. Crew. Uh, sing it, sing it. I'm, and I'm, that's it. Three nights um, of horror and fun in the sun or under the stars. However, you want to have fun, I, I we're going to do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, what we're here tonight, we're going to review Ancestral. We're going to give you our first impression. Those first impressions will be spoiler free. Then we're going to dive into a discussion. And there's plenty to discuss about this. And then we'll wrap things up with our score one to five. Yep. And oh, one to five. Sorry, <laughs> <Our favorite. laughs> I was like, Yep, yep. <laughs> and our favorite scene. And of course, we hope you enjoy not only this review, but many others mm -hmm. that we have on the site. And if you do, please hit the like and subscribe and share with a friend buttons. So they're easy and free to do. And each click will not only make us feel good, but will help us find other horror fans just like you. Yes. All right, The <laughs> Ancestral 2023 on Screenbox, uh, available beginning May 2nd of 2023. Synopsis, a Vietnamese family moves into a centuries-old ancestral home only to discover sinister secrets and visions of the old family's ancient crypt. It's directed by Lee Van Geet, uh, also written by Lee Van Geet, and I'm pretty sure I'm mispronouncing that, and Vo Nguyen Dan, the cast when? includes... Huh? Like the in G, it, it's win the middle. Win? Yeah, it's a win. win. Thank you. Thank you. I always mispronounce it. Uh, Lam Than, Mai, uh, Quan Ton, uh, Mai Cat V. <laughs> oh my god, I, I can't help you. This is and bad. Dai Ni. Do Dai Ni. I am yeah. so sorry, but you know, I'm just a clumsy yank. The only reason I know win is like that win. You remember him? Mm -hmm. He was yeah. like a sports guy. Yeah, I've been mispronouncing that thing and my name in my entire life. So thank you. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure. Along with every that. other <laughs> name outside. Of I know Smith. one word. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, apologies, please. Yeah. You. Um, yes. But I, yeah, I have issues. All right. Uh, let's get into our. Our review. Uh, we're going to give our first impressions. Jeff Moore, sir. What was your first impression of Ancestral? Okay. And uh, well, first, I'm going to need uh, Crystal to explain the end to me. Uh, what? At, when we get really? to spoilers, yeah. and then, yeah. okay. Other than that, I'm going to say uh, I I kind of like these uh, sleep paralysis ones because I've had that, you know, mm. before, and and so it's interesting me the different concepts that people come up with around it. Um, you know, we've got these two uh, sisters, one of them 
has the sleep paralysis and is having these dreams. Anyway, I, it, it, the family's pretty dysfunctional. They just lost their mother. I think uh, the acting is good. The setting is great. They're in this weird, they move to this place that is just weird, you know, and you start to find things out later on that sort of explain what's going on, but yet not quite explain everything. Um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of rambling around, but I enjoyed it. Uh, but I'm not exactly sure what happened at the end. I, I, have, <laughs> I have a couple different thoughts or interpretations. Yeah, oh, yep, yep. That, it's going to be quite a way to try to figure out all that. Uh, Crystal, what was your first impression of Ancestral? So I think that something needs to be said about this film before we review it. Um, this is a Vietnamese film, and... Um, you know, honestly, there aren't that many horror movies that come out of Vietnam. And to me, there are, th th there are some, but there's not all that many. And to me, this movie feels like an American movie from like 20 years ago with the cliches and the tropes. And that's okay because I think that is, I think that as they're trying to create more horror movies, because I noticed that in like 2022, they had a lot more. They're like starting to make more. I think they, they're having to explain to their audiences about horror. That's why I think it's very simplistic with the sleep paralysis and all this sort of stuff. So I think that this movie is not scary and it is not going to be scary to any American horror movie I love fans. it when you call it simplistic and I'm telling you to explain the ending to me. <laughs> about the about the concept of the sleep paralysis itself oh, okay, you know what i mean okay. like that's, that's something fine. that american movies have been using for a long time but I remember they used to have to explain that because we didn't but but it's kind of like you have to teach your audience about it and i feel like that's what they're trying to do with this movie um and so i think that we have to make allowances for that because the cinematography here is phenomenal phenomenal i think the director is amazing like I think that he, the acting was great. I feel like the, the some of the transitions were beautiful out the, with the window, you know, with the night to day and the day to night on something else. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's got a lot going for it. It's just not scary. <laughs> and I don't know if this director just doesn't know scary or, or, or what that is. It doesn't, I feel like it's a cultural thing though. I really do. I like as immediately as we start. I first started watching the movie. I was like, "Oh, okay, I get it." Um, now, <laughs> oh yeah, I the the that that ending is it's something confusing. It's confusing at best. Um, I can't quite understand how it was resolved, but I feel like we're losing something in the translation. I really feel like something's lost here. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, like we talk about that sometimes in movies and I feel in this movie in particular, I think more is lost for us. Mm -hmm. So I don't want that to take away from the movie because I think the movie is actually really good. And I think it's shot well and I think the acting is good. And I, I just think we're kind of missing well, I would say here. even the yeah. location means more than oh, I understand. The location right? is, a, like Jeff mentioned, it really is, right? it's so spooky. Yeah. 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 Um, so my first impression was I actually jumped a couple times. I, I, I didn't know. Really so, so I got Chris, some goosebumps what? too. Chris, so like, Crystal is yeah. everyone's scary. And, and I... And no, Eric, no. You guys are you're I, I jumped, I, There was literally one time when I, I was like, I felt... So it was stupid that I, that I jumped, but I was totally into it. Uh, well, that's awesome. I, I, actually, I, and I that makes me happy. The sleep paralysis scenes actually got to me. Um, yeah, I actually found portions of the some of the the um, set pieces frightening. Um, not the film as yeah. a whole, but there because there's it's a series of. Mm -hmm you know, vignettes that, you know, happen to our characters as they go along. And they, and sometimes, I mean, at first I thought they didn't tie in at all, but we, they tie most of them in together. Um, and we'll have to have a discussion probably off the air about some of what Jeff's questions and, and Crystal's questions, but, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it is confusing at times. It's a little, it, the pacing isn't necessarily consistent, 
but on the positive side, the actors, especially the two girls, are so good. Um, basically, we have four leads, and they're all mm -hmm. really good. And the father is complex um, to the point that it's confusing at the end, and that's what we got to get into. But the girls are so good, and mm -hmm. and like I, and like uh, we're talking about the location. It's 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 dilapidated yet still works still functions and like some of the how some of the rooms are um you know uh revitalized and they live in them you know that's where their bedrooms are but yet other parts of it are you know the the roof is not exactly there and then other parts of it are entirely locked off um and then they you know they're seeing all these things and things are happening if you know it's, it's a ghost story um mm -hmm. for the yeah, it's a ghost story. Yeah, it is. With, with a little sleep paralysis and a little sci-fi nonsense going on. But it's, I I enjoyed this. It's not necessarily a favorite, but uh, there's elements in this. There are moments in this movie I really, really like. It, but it's not consistently that good. Do you think that could be because of of the culture thing do you think things are lost in translation I, I definitely think so i definitely think so um mostly because i you know i don't have any context about where they are you know um not only you know entirely right because it's not it's not in a typical type of home it's you know it's like if i was trying to think like you know what would a foreigner think of the bates motel you know, if they've never seen a motel before, would they understand what that is, right? Because I'm not really sure what their home is, the way it was made, but it doesn't seem like it was foreign to them at all, right? So, and then, you know, there's other elements that go on. And, and even anytime you see, and we're getting spoilers now, but anytime you see a well that's chained up, you know there's some bad shit going down there. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go near a well that's chained up. Did we lose Crystal? Is she frozen? She looks frozen. I don't know. Oh, yep, yep. There she, she's Sorry. back. She's back. I don't know what happened. I was like, um, uh, so I don't know what y'all said, <laughs> but um, uh, yeah. So we, I was answering your question, and uh, basically, I was the last thing I said was, anytime you see a well that's chained up, you know some bad shit's going down. Don't go near it. Oh well, yeah, clearly, obviously. Yeah. Okay, so Jeff, the ending is very confusing. Spoiler. The only thing that we, and there's more than one ending. Oh. There's a there's a couple endings. So yeah, we are in spoilers. So go ahead. There's a couple endings. There's three. Hmm? There's the ending, about? the ending, ending, and then there's two. So there's only one ending. There's two codas to it. There's the. Well, I guess that's not really an. It's well, not I didn't know what was it's what, ended. So I don't know what you <laughs> found confusing. Oh, I get, I get what you're saying. The, the actual yeah. ending in the house. Or the, oh, he's talking about the end end where uh, the dad is. Yeah, I'm is talking about the last back. two pieces. So yeah, yeah. which to, to me yeah, is yeah. like a like so they, a, they a you know they have this big battle. He falls out on his back, and then the he next commits, scene is he does it himself though. Yeah, yeah. He he he. Uh, the next scene is like this bright sunlight. Yeah, and everything is wonderful, and the guy's on crutches, which makes you f kind of feel like it's real, and the girls are. Mm -hmm. One of them's going to school, whatever, and and everything. Uh, your mom would be so proud, and and I'm thinking this has to be has a to hallucination. Be and yeah. oh, by the way, it made me hungry when I saw him making the fried spam. Mm, uh, yeah. But fried uh, spam sandwiches. Is and then the last scene is face. Miss Hans chained up in the basement somewhere. Yep. And I'm because like, the last time we saw her, she was getting pulled off into the darkness, and we don't know. Yes, but, yes. But all the so the ending is is all the prisoners, all the not the prisoners, they weren't prisoners, they were subjects, but they were treated like prisoners, if you ask me, had gotten free because they often did, because they were the ones running mm -hmm. through the houses, had grabbed her and put her and chained her up and were staring down over top of her. I don't yeah. know. So, no, that uh, part I get, but yeah. but how did that end the stuff with the father? Why was the father losing it? Okay. Well, well, she was. There was a scene earlier where she, the doctor, was in the attic with him, and they were, they we were being led that they were 
having you know some schnooky time but she was she was behaving like the mom to yeah well, we either saw address that. him or bring him out and she did it again so he was he just lost it he thought that she was real and he was wanting to go off with her but of course there was something there there was a spirit mm, running it, it's it's not that clear i don't feel like it's that clear i mean yes she was clearly trying to like she's like focus on this it's yes, just yes. she was partially kind of trying to hypnotize she, him in a way but she there did was use his vo her voice though it did you it did show the daughter and there was no one next to her when he saw the wife yeah before he right. jumped out the window so that's just bottom line like he saw yeah. something that wasn't there yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. what i'm most confused about and then at the beginning of if you if you remember the first scene there's more to it somehow that's what i'm saying mm -hmm. like the first scene of the whole movie is some woman with the baby saying that she was worried that her mother's sleep paralysis was going to affect her child mm -hmm. so so and then obviously it's called the ancestral for some sort of reason so this is some sort of like familial thing that's happening well they like said it was that... happening to the mom and then it was happening to the daughter yeah both but... daughters actually the other the older daughter had it yeah the... No, still none well. of that is actually made none of it actually makes sense though <laughs> none of it is actually actually wraps up and makes sense that's what we're saying i'm totally with jeff it's confusing why did him jumping out the window all of a sudden free and and make everything okay the house looking better jeff i will say if you notice as it goes along the house is getting better looking yes like yes. they're they're continually working on it you know and you, you so like i can accept that i can accept him on crutches you know that still means he's probably been hurt for a while but why did that end everything it, i don't know I don't, I don't know i don't know why it, it was it was a it. huge jump from him lying <laughs> literally yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally it was a huge jump yeah. right off the but, but, I, I, but I, I, lo I loved everything leading up to it. I thought it was very, yeah. and I, I agree with you about the, the two girls. They were great. Uh, oh, and, yeah. and the like, way it was written, the relationship between the two was so was cute. Really cool. And the dad, yeah. too, before he. So it was interesting how, you know, the daughter saw Miss Han as the devil. Mm -hmm. So why? I just I, I wonder if maybe the mom slightly was haunting them. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I mean. Oh, I thought there was like demons or ghosts there. I thought there was, was definitely a supernatural force somewhere. Well, the there. the Nosferatu dude. <laughs> Do you remember that? Oh yeah, well, yeah, he was, yeah. The, he was on the camp. <laughs> I, I love the fact that the, 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 uh, the zombie guy it was actually one of the patients who just got loose and but, was roaming around in the thing. So that was kind of cool. Yeah, and the, and the idea of the weight of the of the the demon or the ghost sitting on her chest. That that creeped me out too when they showed that. But, oh, when when she walked in and the and the, and the, the spirit girls. was there and then it yeah, turned yeah. and jumped at her and disappeared and everything went yeah that's that what that scene got me Crystal that I actually was a little creeped out by that. Mm -hmm. I would say this there are moments it's in this movie that it's really good CGI. Well, that was pretty good. Yeah, it was <laughs> obviously <laughs> CGI, but it's... Um, it, there, there's, it, I, I when, okay no it felt look. Very, I, I, it's not great. Long. It's not exactly. That's exactly what I just said. I said exactly that. I'm making allowances for it because it looks like something. It, it feels like something that would have been made in America 20 years ago. Exactly. Like it would have been a good movie 20 years ago, you know, for us. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's like, that's why I'm like, well, it. Ha I get it. They're working through this horror thing. Well, I mean, so me, I make, even though you know, it was bad, it didn't, take, it didn't take me out of the movie at, so much. I mean, I did go, oh, that's fake. But at the same time, it was, I don't know, it's a horror film. It's all sp spooky nonsense anyway. But I, I, it, I would love for it to be better or practical even. Um, because the one thing where she did the little and, the, and the stretched her face out, that was kind of like ridiculous. But you know, I, 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 I'm just saying, um, it's there i feel like whoever made this or, or or vietnam is like trying to find their voice in horror and there there is a lot of references if you notice there's 13 ghost references i mean whoever this is like there's all sorts of uh, other horror movie references that are actually really cool and really subtle like when you go see the patients behind the glass and stuff and they're writing mm -hmm. on it and then the 
Oh, like the one very thirteen seven. ghosts. Very thirteen ghosts. And then there, I wish I'd written down a lot of the stuff because there were so many cool little references. They just need to find what works for them. So that's why I y'all might be surprised at my score because I I have a lot of grace for this movie. I feel like it's there's something there. The director is amazing. I mean, and the cinematography, amazing. I would love to actually see him do something darker, shot darker, and and maybe a little bit more horror behind under his belt. And I think he he could be he's he has he can't, some of what he does reminds me of James Wan, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, a lot, yeah. like in his style. Yeah, it's definitely so, an influence in it. I yep, can see yep, that. Yep. Yeah, so I think that he's very good, and I think the acting is very good. It's just, it's just not scary for me, unfortunately. And I, I think sleep paralysis is very cool. Don't get me wrong. I've never experienced sleep paralysis in my life, so I have no idea what that must be like. But um, <laughs> maybe that's part of it. But you know, you know what film he did previous to this? What? The Requin. What's that? Is that the shark movie? It's the shark yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Really bad shark movie. Really sorry. Bad shark movie. Oh, that's yeah. too bad. Yep. Yep. So um but he's not why was it bad story. though uh, what 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 made it bad though I'm just curious. Uh, the, mostly the the special effects and that the fact that it didn't look like they were actually in the water at all ever so it was maudlin <laughs> and uh, just uh, i don't know yeah there's a lot nothing a lot. nothing but anyway but he he's definitely much better here definitely much better yes here. yes and uh all right, so let's go ahead. Now that we soured out a little bit, sorry about that. Let's uh -oh. go ahead and wrap, wrap this <laughs> wrap this up. Let's give our score one to five and our favorite scene. Uh, mm. Who's the first, Jeff? Jeff, first? Jeff. Jeff's first. Oh, that's first. Oh shoot, I was going to find out what Crystal. Is. <laughs> uh, favorite scene. Um, you know, I'm going to take the one where uh, I think the older daughter goes in the attic. And the father is sitting there in a chair. Mm. Oh, yeah. And it doesn't look quite natural. And it kind of looks like there's a cord going up the post behind him, but you can't really tell what's going on. And then when that unfolds uh, to the whatever kind of contraption he's got set up there was freaky. Yeah. So anyway, yep. I, I, I thought that was... Uh, very well thought out and score waffle 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 um <laughs> that's four waffles i'm, I'm gonna go 3.5 3.4 3.5 waffles all right yeah 3.5 a little bit of sir all right crystal <laughs> out of five out of five <laughs> you're you're scoring your favorite scene. okay so like i said this is not scary but it's a decent movie, I and I think it it's, I think it's good. I think it's good to say. So I'm gonna give it a three point seven five. Okay, oh, it's funny. Oh yeah. wow. Okay. Yeah, I. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I, I could, I just feel like they're, they just, I feel like it's a cultural thing. I feel like it's budget. I feel like it's like they're, they're trying to find their way in horror. And I think whoever this director is just needs to shoot darker. Get a good camera that shoots in low light. And I think you might have some gold. Um, my favorite scene. Oh, my favorite scene is the fall. I mean, I love when she falls off and then she's like, uh, and she's like, no, I'm okay. And then just, <laughs> uh, that actually jacked me up a little bit. I'm not going to, because I did not expect that. I wasn't ready for that. And I was like, oh, oh, that's like a deep hole. Like, yeah, yeah. That I was, thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was a good one. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I, like that. I yeah. almost thought you were going to steal my scene. Um, oh, because my, my <laughs> scene comes after that. Uh, I I enjoyed this quite a bit. Uh, it's funny, I wrote down 3.5, but um, it I really enjoyed it, but it, it it is, I think the confusion is real that Jeff mm -hmm. and Chris were talking about. And I think the pacing is a little off, but when it's, when it hits, I really like it. There are scenes in here that I think are incredibly strong, but just the entire film isn't. Um, and the cast is really good. The four leads are really good. Um, so my favorite scene, um, which means I should have probably given it a three, but my favorite scene <laughs> is um, after we come back to 
the the youngest daughter and she wakes up and she's at the bottom of the hole um perfectly safe and and happy and not yeah, broken so i'm um, good crazy. for good for her good for her <laughs> and then um oh. earlier okay so earlier she was she had some kind of dream or something they were talking about and and her sister said something about well you know thankfully a, you know zombie didn't come out to get you she makes a reference to a zombie so then she's walking around and she she runs <laughs> yeah. into somebody and the guy's walking around stumbling around like he's a zombie and you're like <laughs> when we you know we've been seeing all these people and we're like oh my god are they all living down here? Uh, and he's not talking and he's kind of ran, you know something and he grabs her and she's trying to climb up this really creepy you know uh, uh, looks like a floor had sunk in and she's trying to climb up the boards of the floor you know like the framework of it and he's grabbing her by the foot and it's like God, if, if, if it's a, that's a ghost what the hell's going on I was like what is happening <laughs> oh, yeah. and, and it looked great too because um, it's always it's always always laugh when they're in these subterranean things and you still see when there's no light i'm like i don't know how that works but let's go for it um but i really enjoyed didn't they have light though didn't they have i mean because it's a it's a center a yeah, research yeah. center so they, it's they, technically we, we did know, find yeah. out why there was light uh later but not at that moment right except for oh, yeah. coming down out of the hole but anyway so i i really like that and i liked how it revealed where she was and then it you know that's when the story picks up but that just having that guy stumble around behind her and she's running and i was like what that was to me that was pretty intense little scene it wasn't scary but it was just fun and and gripping so anyway i don't i oversold it but anyway let's go with it <laughs> <laughs> So is Screenbox, are we going to recommend people grab Screenbox and yeah. check this out? Yeah, yeah, I think people should check it out. I, I mean, do. it's, could I, it I be better? It... Yes, but I think it's worth a watch. I don't remember when I did it, but I, I don't know. I signed up for Screenbox for a year for like $40. It was mm -hmm. a... Oh, that's a good Oh, deal. wow. Nice. So the, the movie he directed after this, I actually watched and I just realized he did it. I didn't recognize the title, which is The Princess, which was Joey King. So this guy's directed uh, American films. So that he's went directed to Hulu. American films. Right. Yeah. Wow. And I I enjoyed that movie. Oh, that good. movie was a lot of fun. It's it's not good. It's kind of like the same thing. It's like, it's, it's not necessarily a good movie, but it's, it's, fun it's entertainment you know it's not taking itself seriously it's not trying to be getting rewards so yeah I, I wonder what he's doing next because i do think he is growing from film to film for certain totally yeah you know interesting that's so funny i thought when i saw the princess i thought it was going to be an asian film but yeah then i clicked on it and went oh no this is the one i watched this Last year, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we like Joey King. So. Anyway, um, there you go. That's our review. <laughs> Check it out. Let us know what you yeah. think in the comments down below. <laughs> Crystal, Jeff, thank you for joining me. As always, this is a lot of fun. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. Thank you. thank you. All right, let's get out of here. Let's say good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Gruesome Magazine. Cool. Cute.